I'm here with Coach Wayne Nutley. Everybody out there is wondering, you're talking about you're retired and the NFL ranks are being depleted and they need coaches. They, I think they call it Black Friday. I don't know why they picked that coach. <laughs> yeah. But in any event, <laughs> what would bring you back to coaching? Nothing. And I, and I say that in all seriousness because uh, spending 36 years in the coaching profession, mm -hmm. and I talked about the hours that we put in. Um, the other thing with just coaching on the field, in college you have three months of recruiting mm -hmm. where you got to be on the road basically, again, at least five. 24-hour job. Yeah, five or six hour, days a week. And then the recruits come in on the weekend, so you spend the weekend with the recruit on campus uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you're back out recruiting again. And in the NFL, you're out working out players for the draft. You're going to all over the country to uh, work kids out, talk to their coaches, talk to the academic advisors. There's a lot of work to and do with that. And you still might not have a commitment, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you draft. The thing I love about the NFL is that you get to draft the players. Now, whether they're still there at your pick, but you don't have to convince them like in college. you got to try to convince them, their parents, that your university is the best university uh, for them to attend. So it takes a lot of organization, a lot of time, a lot of communication. Uh, you got to find out who that kid listens to. you got to go to that person and talk to them. It might not be the parents. It might be the coach. It might yeah. be an uncle. It might be whomever. you got to find that kind of stuff out about that do kid. Do you get a lead on that? How do you find that You lead? talk to his coach. You talk to his academic advisor. You talk to, uh, even you have to talk to the minister. And he, I mean, he might know. Uh, so you, you, there's a lot to it because uh, you... Now, do you ever get a clash between mom says this, but dad says that? Yes, yes. And, and as a coach, you got to figure out which one, these, which one do the kid listens to. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Is he listen more to mom right. or he listen more to dad? All right. They, they, if they offer you a million dollars to come back, no. they offer that to Groot and Kyle and all those other guys yeah. that's sitting up there trying to be John Madden, uh, you would not come back. I would not come back. Uh, the great, and the reason why I wouldn't come back, not only with just because of the hours and everything else we put in, I've been blessed to be in the NFL because they have a great pension plan. Mm. So there's no need for me to have to go back in to coach to be able to uh, support my family, my wife. You know, I've been blessed to be able to put both my kids through college. And they don't have any, you know, uh, loans or anything they got to pay back. So been blessed. Been blessed big time. Um, I, I just enjoy doing nothing now. You know, I can do what I want, when I want, how I want. And nobody has say so what I have to do. Now, if, if they were to ask you, what would you want to leave on a stone, on a monument? Your gift to the NFL was what? Teacher. Teacher. That I was a teacher. I took pride in that. I, I, uh, I think the people who know me that have seen me coach uh, or people that I've coached, I think that's the one thing I think they will all be consistent in saying is that uh, Coach Nunley was a great teacher. I took really took a lot of pride in, especially players who weren't drafted. Mm. Uh, that's a long shot and making it into the NFL. I really love those kind of guys because they're going to give you everything they got because they want to make they it. They want to make it. They want to make it. And when I can teach that young man technique and how to get better, and he gets better, and I have several examples of guys who's been in the league 10, 11, 12 years that was a free agent that wasn't recruit or wasn't drafted by anybody, but they stayed in the league because they used such great technique and then their effort and their heart, the way they played the game. That's, that's my joy is to see guys that I've had the opportunity to coach that weren't the number one draft choice. They weren't even drafted, but they made it in the NFL. That's, that's Which is a phenomenal different. thing. Right? Yeah, it is. It is. And, uh, that's, that's the, probably the proudest thing that I can say is that I've helped young men make it into the NFL when they probably shouldn't have made it.